To be honest, I haven't seen that many reviews on like, you know, my kind of hair. I would say my hair is 4, some parts 4B, some parts 4C. newbie hello welcome my name is Raquel and if you're a subbie thank you for returning I really appreciate your support today I thought I would review the Dyson Corral strainer I actually purchased this six weeks ago and because I put off my hair wash day for an extra three weeks I'm just now getting around to filming this video so if you guys want to see my natural hair wash routine I will link that above just here and I'll also link it in the description box below yeah I really wanted to try out this Dyson straightener it costs me an arm and a leg it's like 400 pounds in the UK but it does apparently have science um, behind it which basically enables your like enables it to emit less heat damage to the hair or something like that uh, my hair's natural I don't like to apply heat to it very often so yeah I didn't want to it comes down it's an expensive product but it comes down to sort of how much yeah, it comes down to whether you want to spend that money for that science to help not heat damage your hair that much. So I've got the Dyson here. I've charged it. I can use it cordless. I'm going to get straight into the straightening part and then I'll probably chuck in a voiceover of some of the important facts that you might need to know. To be honest, I haven't seen that many reviews on like, you know, my kind of hair. I would say my hair is four, some parts 4B, some parts 4C. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, all I've done is blow dry this. So if it can straighten this, I'll be surprised because my ends are feeling really tough. So yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna use a t the chase method with my comb that's missing two teeth in the middle. <laughs> like the ghetto. So yeah, anyway, if you guys aren't subscribed, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 20K subscribers. So if you guys could help me, I would be very, very grateful. If you're new to my channel, by the way, I usually focus on like beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and that sort of thing. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested, definitely subscribe, definitely hit that bell. I've rambled enough. So I'm gonna literally get straight into this. I, I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. So yeah, let's go. So as I mentioned in my rather long rambly intro, I did already do a natural hair wash routine, which you guys will be able to see on the channel. And in that video, I made sure to add a couple of extra products. So I used the John Frieda Frido Straight, and I also used a lot of heat protectant. I'm using the Cantu one at the moment. So here you'll see that I'm just straightening my hair using the chase method or attempting to straighten it using the chase method. I started off at the back and I did use quite small sections, but to be honest, I probably could have used way smaller sections um, for a more sleeker finish. But as you guys know, I'm not a you know professional hairdresser. I'm just an ordinary girl just trying to see whether a pair of 400 pound straighteners are gonna make my life a little bit easier for them days when I do want to attempt like a little silk press. Um, so with regards to the actual science behind the product, Dyson use a patented or patented, I can never say this word, patented I think is the term, um, Dyson flexing plates which basically deliver an enhanced styling without the heat damage. I'm using it cord free, I did charge it so I had, I was able to do my whole hair cord free. But if you want to insert the cord you can and it does have a 360 swivel which makes styling you know definitely way way easier. The heat control technology regulates the plates and the temperature consistently so there isn't one part of the plate which is getting hotter than the other which is then heating another part of your hair more. One thing that I noticed is that once you ran the straighteners through your hair it didn't sort of splay out which definitely lends to the idea that you know the straighteners are emitting less heat and they're less heat damaging to your hair. Just the flex plate technology I guess means that it doesn't splay out which is definitely very very handy. Once I got to the front, I kind of just put my part in, brushed through the hair. When I was doing the front of my hair, I lowered the temperature just because my hair is a little bit more fine and I've got a little bit of damage at the front of my hair. Um, and then with the strainer on a lower temperature, I did just run through a couple of the um, ends of my hair just to kind of curl it inwards a little bit. But I didn't really style it, style it in this video. So you guys will see me using the straighteners to style my hair in future videos. Um, but yeah, that's it. 
Okay, so here is the final look with the Dyson Corral straightener. I have to say, first impressions, the first thing that I wanna tell you guys is that my one came with this airplane tag. Let me see if it will focus. Right, so that airplane tag that you see there, mine was clean out of the whole thing. And it had like a little plastic nib with a little sort of dot on the bottom of it, which obviously will prevent it from slipping out when I pull it out. And it honestly took me such a long time to even get that in the thing for it to start working. I totally think that it's great that you can pull it out to make it airplane safe and then you can put it in your, your cabin luggage but that gave me some trouble and when you're spending as much money as you are on this straightener, you don't wanna come up against no kind of problems. I would say it's done, in terms of like straightening my hair, I'll just put it out so you guys can see. I would say it's done a pretty good job. Um, I have to be honest, I'm not like a huge, like when it comes to straightening natural hair, I don't have much experience because I don't personally straighten my hair ever. Um, my hair's natural and I just kind of wear it like in protective hairstyles and then when I'm not, I, I would never, <laughs> I just don't straighten my hair. Um, so I'm not, in terms of skills, I'm not like, you know, mad skilled when it comes to that. So I think if I had a little bit more technique, I'd be able to finesse it a little bit better. I did also wanna know that temperature, even though it goes up to 210, there's only three temperature settings. I forget what they are. I believe it's like one, let me see if it's got battery left. Yes, 165, 185 and 210. And I do feel like if you're spending that much money on a straightener, you should have more than three heat setting choices. I kind of did mine on a combination of the top two heat settings. When it got closer to the front, I do have a little bit of heat damage because uh, for my cousin's wedding, I did, my um, friend did straighten the front and I wore like a half up, half down and the hair that was in the half up was just too much hair. So I think that combined with straightening the hair, it just like, it was a little bit too much to handle. So I do feel like the front of my hair kind of did break and does have a little bit of heat damage as well. So around the front, I did put that temperature down. But yeah, I mean, I think it's okay. I can't really compare it to a GHD because I don't have, I haven't used a GHD in a really long time. So I think to summarize, hmm, what would I say? I should probably just charge it back up and do like a little curl thing to see whether I can curl it and see like, but I don't have the flick of the wrist, girls. I don't, I'm not really a big hairdresser. So, I mean, first impressions is, I mean, it's good, it's okay. I think the price, I don't know if the price is justified, but then at the same time, like I said at the beginning, it's the, we're relying on the fact that what they're saying about the science behind the product and the product being less heat damaging for your hair, I'm relying on that to be true, to make it worth the money, if that makes sense. I mean, I'll get use out of it, I'll use it on wigs, um, things like that. So I better just learn to finesse it and learn to use it um, as a curling wand as well. So yeah, um, hmm. What do you guys think? I'm not entirely sure whether, I mean, it is pretty straight. Is it silk press straight? No, but do I have the, do I have the skill for the silk press? Mm, I'm gonna see, I might put a little bit more silk and seal in it because before I straightened it, I did use the three day straight and uh, this is on my natural hair wash routine. I used straight and I also use the Keracare silk and seal. So maybe when I wrap it this evening, and the ends definitely need cutting. So, so that completes my Dyson Corral hair review. What do you guys think? Oh, crumbs, I think I'd left it on all that time. No, it's definitely dead. Mm. What do you guys think of this straightener? Is this something that you will be purchasing? I definitely think if you're a professional, it'd be something that would be great in your collection. Um, I'm yet to decide, so I'm gonna test it out a few more times. If you wanna keep up with me on my vlogs, I'll definitely be checking in with you guys about the straightener as I learn to use it a little bit better. But comment below, let me know. As I said at the beginning, I'm on my journey to 20K, so if you could subscribe and help me on my way, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you are subscribed, make sure you turn on the bell. I hope this video was helpful to somebody and if it was please don't forget to give it a thumbs up even if you watched it and said hell no sis i ain't spending that money then fine <laughs> let me know and give the video a thumbs up but yeah thank you guys for watching i'm uploading four times a week at the moment so make sure you are staying tuned and um, but yeah thank you guys again and i'll see you very very soon bye